I think obviously the, the Chinese market has becoming a little bit um, crowded. I think actually I would not say crowded, probably really a little bit chaotic because there are so many different players coming into the market. And um, especially there are lots of uh, new funds coming in and then they are really, I think, have very different kinds of uh, standard, different kind of mindsets. So, um, so that makes, uh, you know, your, your normal investment approach is a little bit, uh, then you do facing challenges, I think, in that regard, because there are a lot of local funds who has very different kinds of uh, ways of uh, assessing risks. And um, I think uh, you see that a lot of people probably commenting that uh, the valuation has been uh, driven up. But on the other hand, China is a very large market and there are so many more opportunities. And uh, as we always say that, I think two years ago we, we looked at statistics that there are 7 million SMEs in China. And it's a huge number. You just have to really know where to look and then you will be able to find good opportunities. And most, of the, most of the companies actually are not up to, if you say standard, international standard, they're not there. And uh, so especially our space, we are looking at SMEs. So typically their accounting standards are, uh, some are better, some are, you know, but in terms of uh, creating transparency, obviously it is a challenge. But I think, uh, again, uh, this is just something you really have to work hard on it. I think if you work hard, you definitely can create uh, transparency. And uh, before we do a deal, we spend a lot of time looking at companies. We're not just uh, satisfied looking at their financial statements. We're actually going deeper, looking at their books, looking at their, their receivables, invoices, and then we reconstruct a financial statements, basically do sort of like a forensic counting. And through that way, a lot of issues can be um, disclosed. We, we don't actually really want to pick sort of like, uh, say, these other sectors, let's only focus on these sectors. And the reason is also really because uh, China is a market which is evolving, developing so rapidly and industry cycles is so much shorter than, the, than, than our fund lifetime. So we do think to remain, the flexibility is important. And, but having said that, of course, you do, I mean, you look at the trends, and I think we like agriculture a lot. We have investment in there, which is, I think is a great company. And we like healthcare. We haven't yet made an investment yet, but I think uh, um, that's a very interesting area. Obviously, you know, green tax, this is the area where everyone is very hot, but I mean, we are not just uh, interested in that because, uh, because it's a hot area, because simply it is uh, an area which the government is giving a lot of support. That's where uh, China will have a lot of uh, uh, progress and development, so therefore the opportunities.